This video explains how to create dummy variables in a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step, we have to import the pandas library as you can see in the first code snippet. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the pandas library and we are also able to use the data frame constructor as you can see in the second code box. And in this code box, I'm creating a data frame which contains two columns, x1 and x2. And the second column, x2, contains x and y values within the column. So let's assume that we want to convert this column into multiple dummy columns. Then we can use the getDummies function, as you can see in the third code box. And within the getDummies function, I'm specifying the data frame column that I want to convert. So in this case, the data frame column x2. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which I call data dummies. And then I'm also printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, we have created another data frame. And this data frame contains two columns x and y. And both of these columns contain dummies. And the column x is always equal to 1 when our input column contained the value x. And the column y is always equal to 1 when the input column contained the value y. Now in the next step we can also combine this data frame with our input data frame. So in this case I'm using the concat function to combine our two data frames. So I'm combining the data frame data that we have used for the example in this tutorial and our new data frame data dummies. And I'm also specifying the axis argument to be equal to one. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which I'm calling data all. And I'm printing this new data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, we have created another data frame, which contains our two input columns, x1 and x2. And it also contains our dummy data that we have created in the previous step. So the dummies x and the dummy y. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.